Russia has delivered the first two Su-57E Felon 5th generation fighter jets to an undisclosed foreign customer, marking the first known export of the advanced stealth aircraft, according to statements made by Russian defense officials at the Dubai Airshow 2025. Vadim Badeka, CEO of the United Aircraft Corporation, UAC, confirmed the handover and stated that the aircraft are now in active duty. They have entered combat duty and are demonstrating their best qualities. Our customer is satisfied, Badeka said. The Su-57E is the export variant of Russia's Su-57 multirole stealth fighter, which has been operational within the Russian aerospace forces and used in limited combat scenarios in Syria and Ukraine. The delivery represents a shift in Russia's posture toward marketing its high-end combat aircraft abroad, amid increasing financial pressure on its domestic defense industry. In a previous statement, UAC said, Stable serial production of the Su-57 allows for more active work to promote the aircraft on the international market. The corporation framed the aircraft's availability as a symbol of technological independence. The presence of a fifth-generation fighter in Russia, especially one proven in real combat conditions, is a sign of technological sovereignty and the high level of technology our country possesses, UAC stated. Although the identity of the purchasing country has not been disclosed, the handover comes at a time when Russia's state-owned defense sector is under strain due to domestic price controls and war-related manufacturing obligations. The fixed-price procurement model imposed by the Russian government has created liquidity challenges across major defense enterprises, prompting a push for exports to offset internal losses. Analysts have noted that many Russian defense contractors, including those tied to the Su-57 program, are seeking export markets to recover working capital and sustain production lines. These international sales are seen as necessary to maintain the viability of programs strained by wartime resource allocations and disrupted supply chains. The Su-57E includes features from the baseline Su-57, such as low radar observability, supercruise capability, advanced avionics, and a broad array of air-to-air -air and air-to-ground weapons. While the full extent of downgraded export specifications remains unclear, the aircraft delivered are reportedly close in configuration to Russian frontline models.